Hi, hello dear students. Welcome to our channel Maths with Panindra. In this video, we are going to discuss about the answer TS 2020, 99-2020 shift 1 circles questions I am going to discuss. Let us have a discussion. The question here, the area in square units of the circle formed by the two tangents drawn from the external point 0, 0 to the circle x square plus y square minus 2gx minus 2hy plus h square equal to 0 and their chord of contact is so area of triangle they are asking so we need to draw the rough figure dear students according to the question so you have to draw the circle figure and external point is given as what 0 comma 0 From this point to take the tangents so from this is the point chord of contact meaning is what the point of intersection of the line segment joining the point of contact of two tangents is called point of contact so cut of contact so this point is a this point is b if we join like this this is called the cut of contact so center of the circle is what according to this so given circle is x square plus y square minus 2gx minus 2hy plus h square equal to 0 center c is equal to g comma h next radius r is equal to root over g square plus h square constant c is minus h square so these two will be cancelled r is equal to g we got it so draw the line from center to this is center center to origin and join like this this is indirectly radius from here to here it is angle theta from here to here is also theta join like this so from triangle this area of triangle they are asking dear students the area triangle formed by the two tangents drawn from the external point o comma o 0 comma 0 that means From triangle O A C, so tan theta if you take tan theta means here theta opposite value is A C, adjacent side value is O A. So A C means radius na by O A. O A length of tangent. O A is equal to length of tangent. Length of tangent formula what? Root S one one. So circle is root, wherever x is there, x1 replace x1 square plus y1 square minus 2gx1 minus 2hy1 plus h square. Length of tangent from which point o comma 1 only you know 0 comma 0. So wherever x1 y1 is there replace with 0. So o a value root h square is equal to h. So, OA value we got it as H and radius value is H R. So, R is equal to what? According to that G by H. So, ultimately tan theta value is G by H. So, what for we are doing like this? The area of triangle in the first year properties of triangles if you take area of triangle OAC is equal to half into from this figure So we have triangle OAB, they are asking OAB. OA is one side, OBB is another side. OA is equal to OB. Length of tangents are equal for the even OB is also same dear students. So half into AB into sin theta now. Angle between these two is theta plus theta to theta. In 
pair of uh, in properties of triangles half into a b sin theta is there but in between angle here theta here theta so to theta plus theta to theta na so half into o a value o b value both are h into h only now sin 2 theta we didn't have but tan theta is there so sin 2 theta in terms of tan formula 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta dear students so substitute 1 by 2 into h into h h h square 2 into g by h by 1 plus g by h whole square if you simplify this you will get here 2 here to get cancelled h square g by h by h square plus g square divided by h square so one of the h cancel denominator of denominator it will become a numerator so h cube into g so g h cube divided by h square plus g square so therefore the triangle area o a b is g h cube by h square plus g square it is there in the which option g h cube g h cube by h square plus g square i hope you everyone understand your students you need to go through this so we'll move on to the next question in this question they are asking if the circle cuts off a chord of length lambda on the line 2x minus 5y plus 18 equal to 0, then the value of lambda is. See here, first circle figure. This is the chord equation. Where it goes A, B. This line is 2x minus 5y plus 18 equal to 0, dear students. This is the center of the circle. According to circle center, 3 comma minus 1. So, circle equation is x square plus y square minus 6x plus 2y. The 28 we can take this as minus 28 equal to 0. Center C is equal to minus x coefficient by 2 minus y coefficient by 2. Radius R is equal to G square plus F square minus of minus 28. So, 28 plus, so we will get it as root 38 is the radius R value. So, from circle center to line, find out the perpendicular distance D value. This is radius value. So, D, D is equal to perpendicular distance from center of the circle to this line. So, directly I am writing in place of x comma y 3 comma minus 1. So, 2 into 3 mod ax1 plus by1 plus c by root of a square plus b square. So, straight lines concept dear students. 2 into 3 minus 5 into minus 1 plus 18 by root over 2 square plus 4 square. x coefficient whole square plus y coefficient whole square. Which is equal to 6 plus 5 11. 11 plus uh, 18 29. 29 by root 29 so which is equal to root 29 after that this length is given the students you remember that this length is equal to lambda is given so what is the length of chord formula length of chord a b is equal to 2 times of root of r square minus d square a b is equal to lambda that is equal to 2 root of r square so 38 whole square minus 29 whole square so which is equal to 2 root 9 will come so 2 root 9 means what 3 root 3 is 6 therefore the value of lambda is equal to 6 units which is there in the second option we will move on to the next question dear students yeah, the next question consider the circles S1 equal to x square plus y square plus 2x plus 8y minus 23 equal to 0 and S2 equal to x square plus y square minus 4x plus 10y 
plus 19 equal to 0. If the polars of the center of the circle with respect to the another circle, so two circles are given to a student now. Find out center of first circle, center of second circle. Find the polar of one circle with respect to second circle center. Find the polar of first circle with respect to first circle center. Like this way you can calculate. After getting polar equations, we decide among the options which option is going to satisfy. So first given circles are there. I am calculating their centers respectively. So C1 is equal to first circle center minus x coefficient by 2 minus y coefficient by 2. So minus 1 minus 4. Second circle center C2 equal to 2 comma minus 5. Now I am calculating the equation of polar polar of equation 1 polar of equation 1 polar of not equation polar of center polar of c2 of 2 comma minus 5 with respect to first circle s1 equal to 0 that is s1 equal to according to the circle xx1 plus yy1 plus 1 into x plus x1 g into x plus x1 dear students f into means plus 4 into y plus y1 minus 23 equal to 0 in place of x1 y1 substitute this value so you will get 2x minus 5y plus 1 into x 1 into x1 value is 2 4 into y 4y y1 value minus 5 so minus 20 minus 23 equal to 0 2x plus x 3x minus 5y plus 4y is minus 5 minus 20 minus 23 minus 43 minus 43 plus 2 so minus 43 plus 2 minus 14 1 equation number 1 next polar of c1 of minus 1 comma minus 4 with respect to second circle s2 equal to 0 that is s1 is s1 for the s2 equation of circle Generally, polar equation means S1 equal to 0, we will write it. That's why I am writing S1 only. Don't confuse dear students. S2 only I am writing otherwise. So, XX1 according to this, YY1. Now, this is X1, Y1 according to this, YY1. Minus 2 into X plus X1. Plus 5 into Y plus Y1. Plus 19 equal to 0. In place of x1, y1 substitute minus 1, minus 4. So, you will get uh, x1 value minus 1 now. So, minus x, minus 4y, minus 2x, plus 2, plus 5y, minus 20, minus plus 19, equal to 0. Minus x, minus 2x, minus 3x, minus 4y, plus 5, plus 5. 19 plus 2, 21, 21 minus 20. So, 1. So, minus multiply, so you are getting that 3x minus y minus 1 equal to 0. Equation number 2. By observing, these lines are parallel lines. So, parallel lines means uh, we can eliminate the option 3 and option 4. So, option 3, uh, sorry, option 2 and option 3 will be no need to consider. Why? Because parallel lines we decided. This is AX plus BY plus C2. This is AX plus BY plus C1 equal to 0. Distance between parallel lines they given here in both the cases. 
So distance between parallel lines D is equal to mod C1 minus C2 by root over A square plus B square dear students. So C1 mod minus 41 minus of minus 1 by root of 9 plus 1 3 square plus minus 1 whole square. So minus 40 within 40 plus 40 by root 10. So we can write it as 4 times of 10 by root 10. So root 10 times cancel now 4 root 10 is the answer. So first option is the right option. Parallel and separated by distance. So distance between them is 4 root 10 now. So the answer is 4 root 10. I hope you understand the students. The question is here. Both the polar equation we calculated and finding distance between them. Why we are calculating distance between them? We decided that both the lines are parallel lines. Distance between parallel lines here. Distance between parallel lines. The next question is the next question if the circle intersect another circle s is equal to 0 of radius 5 root 2 by 2 in such a manner that the common chord is of maximum length with slope 1 by 4 then the center of s dash equal to 0 is so second center second circle center we required so the circle First circle I am drawing here, dear students. And second circle, which are intersecting like this. Right? So first circle center is 0, comma 0. Second circle center is, we don't know, we are assuming that h comma k generally h comma k and intersecting in two distinct points now intersecting the second circle radius is given first intersecting means the common chord will do that so this is the common chord of uh, the two circles this point is a this point is b dear students common chord. What is the first circle? x square plus y square minus 4 means equal to 4. Circle C1 center. I am taking here C1. 0 comma 0 it is the standard equation of circle. R1 is equal to 2. 4 can be written as 2 square. Huh? So this is R1. R2 value it is given that R2 is equal to 5 root 2 divided by 2 is given dear students. Okay. 5 root 2 by 2 is given. So this point is M I am taking. First common chord we need to consider. Why? Because second circle center also we can center, uh, center we assume that H comma K. This is first circle center. Circle 1 this one circle 2 s2 is equal to x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square r square means 5 root 2 by 2 whole square so this is equal to root whole square means 2 25 into
So the radical axis AB will come, the common carrier, S my S1 minus S2. If you simplify this, uh, x square plus h square minus 2xh y square plus k square minus 2yk minus 25 by 2 is equal to 0. So this is s2. The common chord, common chord ab according to the figure. s1 minus s2 equal to 0, both the circles. So here's this side, this side. So x square plus y square plus h square h square plus k square minus 2xh minus 2yk minus 25 by 2 minus x square minus y square minus of minus 4 plus 4 equal to 0. So we got uh, that equation h square plus k square minus 2xh minus 2yk minus 25 by 2 plus 4 equal to 0 this way. Even more simplification, if you simplify this, after taking LCM and all, these two you take it 8 minus 25, so minus 17 by 2, minus 2H into X, I am writing into form of AX, plus minus 2K into Y, AX plus BY, H square plus K square, Minus 25 by 2 plus 4 is minus 17 by 8, 2. 17 by 2, absolutely correct. Is equal to 0. This is equation of AB, dear students. Equation of AB. So, observe that this is AB equation. This equation only we got it. This equation slope is given as what? 1 by 4. Here slope of this equation is 1 by 4. So it is in the form of ax plus by. You know, slope of ab is equal to 1 by 4. That is minus x coefficient by y coefficient. So minus of minus 2h by 2k minus is equal to 1 by 4. Minus, minus 2k cancel. Therefore, minus h by k is equal to 1 by 4, k is equal to minus 4h. So, put it in this, simple only, but a little lengthy problem. Sometimes they are giving this, we cannot, we, we will do it, there is no other way, but uh, on that way, we can do. So, h by k value, we got it. Next, uh, here one more condition is provided. The Common chord is of maximum length. When the common chord is maximum length means the common chord is diameter of any of the circles. Then it will be maximum. The time, the maximum. Whenever the length of chord is maximum, whenever the length of chord is maximum, the perpendicular distance from perpendicular distance from center to this is second circle second circle center to the line is zero the perpendicular distance since since maximum length of chord maximum length of chord so whenever length of chord is maximum, then D is equal to 0. That means perpendicular distance from center of the circle, from H comma K to AB equation. So that is, in place of X and Y, H comma K substitute. So from S1, no? from circle center to so here, from here to here distance I am taking, that is good, easy to 
instead of h comma k 0 comma 0 if you take it from not for from h comma k if you take h comma k again it will be some lengthy problem but better to take 0 comma 0 in place of x comma y is 0 0 0 plus 0 plus h square plus k square minus 17 by 2 by root of x coefficient whole square 4h square plus y coefficient whole square minus 2k whole square is 4k square that is equal to 0 will come so cross multiply h square plus k square minus 17 by 2 is equal to 0 later on Here we have k is equal to minus 4h now substitute h square minus 4h whole square is equal to 17 by 2. So 16 square is 17 h square is equal to 17 by 2. 17 17 get cancelled h square is equal to 1 by 2. h is equal to plus or minus 1 by root 2. So h value we got it here. H value. 1 by root 2. H value. Yes, 1 by root 2. H value based on that, K value also will change. H is equal to plus 1 by root 2 k is equal to minus 4h now so minus 4 1 by root 2 so it will becomes minus 2 into 2 by root 2 so root 2 times will be cancelled minus 2 root 2 not only this one if h is equal to minus 1 by root 2 k is equal to plus minus 4h will becomes uh, 4 into 1 by root 2 will come there today. So that time 2 root 2 will come. So both the possibilities are there. So according to the option, we will go it. But in the first h value, 1 by root 2 plus or minus 1 by root 2 is not given. So how to go plus or minus 1 by root 2 is not given. See here, this can be root 1 by root 2, no? Multiplying and dividing by root 2, it will be root 2 by 2. But this option is there. H value, we got it. K value. So, H comma K is equal to plus or minus root 2 by 2, comma plus or minus 2 root 2. So, in the option, minus root 2 by 2, comma 2 root 2, minus plus root 2 by 2, this one. So, both of possibilities are there, dear student. So, root 2 by 2 comma minus 2 root 2 and minus root 2 by 2 comma plus 2 root 2. So, these are the possibilities which is there in the second option. This is the right option. Slowly, we can move. Here, the concept is in this question, two circles are there, second circle center not given and uh, length of chord is maximum. Whenever length of chord is maximum, from given circle center to the common chord, the length perpendicular distance 0 it will be. So, based on that, you will get one locus here in terms of h comma k. Solving that and slope also you take the help. k is equal to slope 1 by 4 is given now. From that, you can take the help. So, we will move on to the another question. So now another question, if the angle between the circles is pi by 3, then the value of k is, so theta equal to pi by 3, first circle compared with x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c, so g is equal to minus 2, f is equal to minus 3, c 
सी इज इक्वल टू के सेकेंड सर्किल कंपेर विथ एक्स टू जी डैश एक्स सो जी डैश इज इक्वल टू फोर टू एफ डैश वाई मीन्स एफ डैश इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू सी डैश इज इक्वल टू लेवन सो कॉस टीटा इक्वल टू सी प्लस सी डैश माइनस टू जी जी डैश माइनस टू एफ एफ डैश बाय टू रूट ऑफ जी स्क्वायर प्लस एफ स्क्वायर माइनस सी इंटू रूट ऑफ जी डैश स्क्वायर प्लस एफ डैश स्क्वायर माइनस सी डैश नॉट स्क्वायर सी डैश विच इज इक्वल टू सी प्लस सी डैश के प्लस लेवन माइनस टू इंटू माइनस टू इंटू फोर माइनस टू इंटू माइनस थ्री इंटू माइनस टू बाय टू रूट ऑफ जी स्क्वायर प्लस एफ स्क्वायर मीन्स फोर प्लस नाइन माइनस के रूट ऑफ सिक्सटीन प्लस फोर माइनस लेवन तो विच इज इक्वल टू के प्लस लेवन सिक्सटीन माइनस ट्वेल्व बाय टू रूट थर्टीन माइनस के रूट ट्वेंटी माइनस लेवन कॉस सिक्सटी डिग्री इट इज कॉस सिक्सटी फाइव बाई थ्री मीन्स वॉट सिक्सटी वन बाई टू सो हियर टू हियर टू गिट कैंसल क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई रूट थर्टीन माइनस के इन टू थ्री रूट नाइन सो हियर लेवन माइनस ट्वेल्व इज माइनस वन सिक्सटीन माइनस वन के माइनस फिफ्टीन प्लस फिफ्टीन स्क्वायरिंग ऑन बोथ साइड्स थर्टीन माइनस के इंटू नाइन इक्वल टू के प्लस फिफ्टीन होल स्क्वायर सो दिस बिग वैल्यूज वी आर वेरी सो व्हाट टू डू देयर इज नो अदर ऑप्शन We can. K square plus two twenty five minus plus thirty k minus nine k again plus nine k thirty nine plus seventy one. No, thirty nine is one one seven. No. So that we can take this side plus one one seven minus one one seven we can take minus one two is equal to zero. So k square plus thirty nine k plus one out eight two twenty five minus this one. So one out eight factors so thirty six three is a one out eight. So thirty six plus three. k square plus thirty six k plus three k plus one out eight equal to zero. So k into k plus thirty six plus three into k plus thirty six equal to zero. So k plus thirty six into k plus three. So k equal to minus three. K equal to minus thirty six. So k value which one, which one is given? Minus thirty six anyway it is not there, so this is not possible. So k is equal to minus three is their option. So our answer is k is equal to minus three. I hope everyone understand. IP problem only, IP related only. We'll move on to the next question. The next question. MC two thousand twenty nine nine two thousand twenty shift two circuits questions. If A equal to minus one comma three and B five comma three are points on a circle C, and the chord AB subtend an angle pi by four at the point P on C, then the equation of such circle is. There are two questions. First, draw the rough figure, dear students. We need to compulsory draw the figure. This is the circle equation. Here, the position of a point P. 
this is a a this is b chord also i am drawing this is the chord a b so these two now here angle how much it is given pi by 4 is given this angle is pi by 4 that means 40 pi this is the center of the circle we know that one of the plane geometry concepts so here at major segment angle is theta at the center it is double of the angle double of the angle is 2 times of pi by 4 it means pi by 2 so it is right angle triangle of center the center we don't know so the center i am taking as uh, h comma k the center h comma k a point and b point is given a point is minus 1 comma 3 b point is 5 comma 3 so whenever it is right angle ab and bc both are equal ab is equal to bc so ab square is also equal to bc square na from the figure so h minus of minus 1 h plus 1 whole square ac sorry not ab ac better to write clear information ac ac square h plus 1 whole square plus k minus 3 whole square equal to h minus 5 whole square plus k minus 3 whole square both sides k minus 3 whole square cancel so h square plus 2 h plus 1 equal to h square minus 10 h plus 25 so that we can take this say 12 h is equal to 24 h is equal to 2 h value we got it yesterday next one more condition here triangle abc is right angled no angle acb is equal to 90 degree pi by 2 so ac is perpendicular to bc so slope of ac so k minus 3 by h minus of minus 1 into k minus 3 by h minus 5 is equal to minus 1 product of this is equal to minus 1 if you simplify this k minus 3 whole square is equal to minus 1 into h plus 1 into h square next uh, minus 5h plus 1h so minus 4h minus 5 h value 2 no substitute in this so what will come k minus 3 whole square is equal to minus 1 into h value 4 Minus eight minus five, so minus thirteen plus four minus minus nine minus into minus plus k minus three whole square is equal to nine will come. So that implies that k minus three is equal to plus or minus three. If you take k is equal to minus three, the value of k is zero. If you take k is equal to plus three, k value goes to six. So two possibilities of h comma k center. Center C is equal to H comma K. One possibility is two comma zero. Another center is H comma K is two comma six. By observing the options, X comma Y is there means no chance of H comma K center two comma zero. So obviously we we'll go for two comma six. For this radius is required. Center we got it. So from two comma six to any point minus one comma three. You take the radius. AC is equal to radius. AC is equal to radius. R is equal to root over two comma six. A point is what? Minus one comma three, na? So A is minus one comma three, and C is two comma six. Two minus of minus one. Two plus one whole square is three square nine. Six minus three, three square nine. So we take the interior.
square root 18. Radius is there, h comma k is there. So x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square. So x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 6 whole square is equal to root 18 whole square. So we can simplify now. You will get uh, x square plus 4 minus 4x y square plus 36 minus 12y minus 18 equal to 0. So x square plus y square minus 4x minus 12y that is plus 4 40 40 minus 18 40 minus 18 is plus 22 so the required equation of circle is x square plus y square minus 4x minus 12y plus 22 equal to 0 it is there in the second option dear students option number b so second option is the right option slowly you can understand dear students here the concept is whenever here pi by 4 this angle is double pi by 2 these two are equal next uh, the right angle means uh, triangle acb is right angle ac is perpendicular to bc so m1 m2 is equal to minus 1 concept we applied m1 m2 is equal to minus 1 so now we will move to the next question In this question, if the angle between the pair of tangents drawn from the circle from 6, comma minus 5 is theta, then tan theta equal to. So we know that tan theta by 2 formula, we have only, uh, just I will draw the figure and I will write the formula. Here the point is 6, comma minus 5. Center. center is not required. So tan theta by 2 equal to r by root s11. The formula which we studied in the intermediate class yesterday. So, R value of the circle we will calculate. R is equal to root over G square plus F square. So, 1 plus 4 minus 3. So, 5 minus 3 is root 2 Julie. Okay. Next, root S11. The point is X1, Y1. Substitute in this root over. In place of X and Y, substitute uh, 36 plus 25 minus 12 minus 20 plus 3 so root of 36 plus 25 61 61 plus 3 64 64 minus 22 so 2 will come there 42 root 42 so tan theta by 2 is equal to so root 22 by this can be written as root 42 how to write it is a 42 is it 42 or uh, Thirty-two. Six plus five. 
Bhakti Goswali wants to check that out. Uh, yes, it is a minus 3 at means uh, minus 12 is okay. Minus 20 plus 3 that is 6 plus 20 point is 6 plus 2. Uh, sorry, we yes, are 64 minus 32 still distance. So 32 will come. I am very sorry. 16 twos on. So 4 root 2 it will be. So 4 root 2. Root 2 to the cancel 1 by 4. So tan theta by 2 is equal to 1 by 4. They are asking tan theta value. So tan theta equal to 2 tan theta by 2 by 1 minus tan square theta by 2. So that is equal to 2 into 1 by 4 by 1 minus 1 by 4 whole square so 2 by 4 1 minus 1 by 15 so 2 by 4 into 16 minus 1 15 15 by 16 means 16 by 15 4 1 4 4 so 8 by 15 so therefore the value of tan theta is 8 by 15 So 8 by 15 is there in the third option difference. We'll move on to the next question. It's a good question, but a little lengthy. I think it is an easy one only. But the thing is, we need to draw the figure correctly according to the question. The midpoint of the chord of the circle drawn parallel to the tangent at minus 1, 1 at a distance of 1 unit from the tangent. So, this is the circle equation. This is the tangent equation. At what point? Minus 1, 1. So, the circle S1 equal to 0 tangent. So, this is the midpoint of chord. We will draw with the another color. This is the point. This is the chord. This is the midpoint of chord. I am taking this point is P. AB is a chord. This is at a distance of 1 unit from the tangent. So, better to draw instead of this. Here you can draw that. So this is A, this is B, this is P midpoint of chord, this is the center of the circle, which is at a distance of one unit is given. Either here or here you can take it. One unit. So first tangent equation we will calculate dear students. So what is the tangent equation S1 equal to 0 according to that uh, xx1 plus y y1 directly I am writing minus 3 into x plus x1 g into x plus x1 like uh, 2 into y plus y1 minus 12 equal to 0 in place of x1 y1 minus 1 comma 1 substitute so minus x plus y minus 3x minus of minus 3 plus 3 plus 2 y y1 value 1 so plus 2 plus 1 3 minus 12 equal to 0. so minus 4x plus 3y 9 no, 6 minus 12 so 3 plus 3 6 minus 12 is minus 6 So the tangent equation is uh, once again check that uh, x square minus x x1 plus uh, minus 3 into x plus x1 x1 value minus 1 point is minus 1 right 2 into y plus y1 1 is 1 2 plus 1 sorry dear students so 2 plus 1 this is 2 3 plus 2, 7, 7 minus 12, so minus 5. I was sorry. 
and phi minus 7 means uh, so 2y plus 2 phi minus 7 is a minus 7 so it will be 4x minus 3y plus 7 equal to 0 so this equation this equation is uh, 4x minus 3y plus 7 equal to 0 this is parallel to this one no at a distance of 1 unit so parallel line may be 4x minus 3y plus k equal to 0 no distance between them is 1 unit so distance between parallel lines is d is equal to 1 mod c1 minus c2 by root of a square plus b square dear students so i will change the column according to that So 1 is equal to mod c1 means uh, uh, 7 minus k by root of a square plus b square means 16 plus 9. So, so this is uh, if you remove 5 is equal to mod 7 minus k so plus or minus 5 equal to 7 minus k. So k is equal to 7 plus or minus 5 k is equal to 12 k is equal to 2 so two possibilities are the k value so this is also either 4x minus 3y plus 12 equal to 0 one line or 4x plus 3y plus 2 equal to 0 another line not 4x minus 3y plus 2 equal to 0 either this line or this line but this is uh, this point I want now. So this is the line, it is perpendicular. So perpendicular and parting to center of the circle. Center of the circle is what? 3 comma minus 2. So for this uh, perpendicular line, perpendicular line means this is A value, this is B value. Perpendicular line is B into x minus x1 minus A into y minus y1 equal to 0. And passing through x1, y1 means what? Center only x1 y1 now so b value minus 3 into x minus x1 value 3 minus a value 4 y minus of minus 2 so solve this equation minus 3x plus 9 minus 4y minus 8 equal to 0 so minus 3x minus 4y plus 1 equal to 0 so 3x plus 4y minus 1 equal to 0 equation number 2 and this equation you can uh, solve your students the tangent equation or equation 12 these two equations we got it now either uh, this equation here we got two more equations 4x minus 3y plus 12 equal to 0 4x minus 3y plus 2 equal to 0 any of the equations you can solve it so better to solve these two this you can take it as equation one solving these two solving one and two you will get midpoint of course so solving the uh, equation one multiplying by three three into four x minus three y plus two So 4 into 3x minus 3x plus 4y minus 1 equal to 0. So solving equation is your wish ma, uh, whatever the method you can apply. 12x minus 9y plus 6 equal to 0. So 12x uh, plus 16y minus 4 equal to 0. Minus minus plus this will be cancelled minus 25y plus 10 equal to 0. So 25y equal to 10, y is equal to 5 to the power 5. So y value 2 by 5, that we can substitute in the another equation. So 3x plus 4 into 2 by 5, minus 1 equal to 0. 3x is equal to 1 minus 8 by 5, 5 minus 8 is minus 3 by 5. So 3x is equal to minus 3 by 5, x is equal to minus 1 by 5. Therefore, the midpoint of the chord 
minus 1 by 5 comma 2 by 5. Q is the point of con. So minus 1 by 5 comma 2 by 5 where it will be? Third option. Slowly you can understand it. You know, it's easy only but a way it, it will take time to do that. Here the question is R1 comma R2 greater than 0. The next question they are showing us. C1, C2 are the centers two circles having only two common tangents. And C1, C2 is equal to R1 plus R2. Then which of the following is correct? Having two common tangents. So, relative position is important. So, I will draw the figure according to the question. Three common tangents are there here. Circles having only two common tangents. That means two common tangents is this one now. So two circles intersecting. Two circles intersecting in two distinct points. common chord may divide yes this is the common chord this is the common chord it divides c1 c2 in the ratio of r1 is to r2 this is the only correct the student why because this situation not this one common chord here it won't come occur no? when the two common tangents are possible only when the two circles are intersecting, two common tangents are possible. Whenever two, two common tangents are possible, two distinct, uh, whenever two, it cuts in the two points, two intersecting in two points, so common chord is possible. The common chord divides the line segment of joining their centers in the ratio of R1 is to R2. I hope you understand this. Student. This is the only way. Critical question, conceptual question. We will move on to the another one. Thank you, dear students. Almost uh, the time is one o'clock. Uh, this is midnight. I will do that the next two videos, uh, two to three videos. I will make the previous. Uh, mm -hmm.